Hi guys, welcome back to F1 2021 with the Mighty Career Mode. Take a look at the upgrades. Yep, we had quite a massive upgrade push in the last episode. We are now the third one, and once those other upgrades get better, we'll be top. But it's all down to our second driver. Can they do anything? We'll find out in Canada for round three. Enjoy. Fantastic. You've got pole. We're all ready for tomorrow's race, but before we begin, let's have a quick look at those who will be fronting the grid. Smith, Hamilton and Charles Leclerc. Well, that wraps up qualifying, but don't worry. We'll be back tomorrow as we head into the Grand Prix. That was an exciting race from our perspective. Let's have yours. It looks like you're locked into a battle with this driver. Would you say that they're a thorn in your sight? The weather hasn't been ideal in qualifying. What's your take on it? It's the start of the season. How do you think things are going to go for you? Appreciate your time. I think we can call that a successful qualifying. We should be in with a good chance in the race. once again beside the St. Lawrence River here in Montreal for the Canadian Grand Prix. 
The event first moved to a variant of this track back in 1978. It was won by none other than Gilles Villeneuve, the first Canadian to ever win his home race, and in whose honour the circuit would be renamed. It's one of the fastest races of the season here at the circuit Gilles Villeneuve, with around 60% of this 2.7 mile circuit taken at full throttle. There are 14 corners to navigate, the very last of which has its very own infamous history and could be the cause of a safety car today. Anthony Davidson joins me once again in the commentary box. And it's fantastic to have you with us here today. But I'm curious, as a man with experience out on the track, how do you stop those pre-race nerves from becoming overwhelming when you're lining up on the grid? But from the moment qualifying's over, you start to feel the adrenaline in your body build up and the buzz in your stomach as you anticipate the run down into turn one. It's all a bit like going into battle. And the unknown situation makes you nervous. Those pre-race nerves are a good thing. The day you don't have them means that you don't care anymore. And of course, you have to make sure that all the procedures are second nature to you so that they're not taking up too much of your capacity. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Smith lines up on pole position, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Leclerc, Verstappen, Lando Norris, and Bottas, Perez, Sainz, Ricardo, and Pierre Gasly, Vettel, Schwartzman, Fernando Alonso, and Stroll, Sonoda, Ocon, Kimi Raikkonen, and Antonio Giovinazzi, Russell, Mick Schumacher, Mazepin, and Nicholas Latifi. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. The teammate behind is 10.1 seconds. They're on fresh softs. They're in 11th. The time last lap was a 1 minute 26.5.
Okay, you're creating some breathing space between you and the car behind by a few seconds per lap. We're leading our teammate by 20.4 seconds. They're on fresh softs. They're in 11th. The time last lap was a 117.9. That's three wins in a row. Unbelievable work. A nearly flawless performance here then, and a commanding victory. And talk to me. What do you think it was that sealed the win for them? Well, they certainly stood out as a driver with a ton of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. The faces on our top three look so incredibly happy as they make their way up to the podium. A much-deserved victory and a brilliant performance from them all.
Smith increases their championship lead. Now, let's discuss, Ants. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? Well, my driver of the day has to be Charles Leclerc. He was unstoppable out on the track today, weaving through the competition with ease. It's time to check out the constructors' standings. No change in the top spot, but with today's points, their hold on the lead is getting weaker. Meanwhile, good work from Aston Martin this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. I'm equal parts exhausted and elated with this weekend of Formula One. Be sure to join us for the next one. The fans really seem to enjoy that. They made it look easy. Your team must be ecstatic with how you're performing. It looks like you've invested heavily in the development of new parts. Appreciate your time. As we continue to increase our acclaim, more potential partners become willing to work with us. We can now approach an additional sponsor from the corporate tab. Okay, we've had the new parts come through the fabrication process. We'll have them with us for the next Grand Prix. We need your input on how to address an issue concerning our driver. You handled that well. Thank you. I know we were expecting some new developments to come through, but some of them have failed quality control. We'll need to tell the team what to redevelop via the R&D screen. Our new parts have completed without issue. They'll be on the car ready for the next race weekend.
I think that's us finished for today. We've done all the upgrades we need. What, do, what have we shut down? Personnel. Yeah, we don't really need it right now. And I could probably shut off this one. Just for now. Until we get some decent cash. Because we do need to watch our money right now. But anyway, that's going to be it for today, folks. Thank you all very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's episode of F1 2021, my team career. Um, yeah, we're upgrading quite massively. Uh, yeah. So I think it's just a matter of time until yeah, uh, uh, Robert Schwartzman picks up the pace. And he might do it in this next race. Might not, you never know. Anyway, see you then. Goodbye for now.